that sanctum. Strange and Tony should start our lost headquarters support group. On the bright side, Hunter, you didn't turn into a symbiote monster. Lilith seeks to wipe all our havens from the earth. Shouldn't have. Can't wait to try this out. Good choice. I feel stronger already. Don't worry about me. I'll meditate until you're ready. on top of this stuff. Don't want to get caught out. You ever wonder if those birds out there are stuck here, trapped in the Abbey's bubble? It's creepy if you think about it. Sometimes you just need to spice things up. Try something different. Awesome! Can't wait to see how this goes down. The enemy's getting stronger. We gotta do the same. gonna be useful. Constant innovation. That's the stark promise. Looking forward to upgrading that. Maybe you should just hit me up on Superlink when you're ready. That's right, not too shabby. It's not much of a consolation prize, but knowing you're still on our side, 
suit you a lot better. Getting word of another attack. Vampires in Central Park. Right before dawn. Can you imagine? Dawn? I knew this was coming. Just not so soon. The city is in enough chaos. We'll handle it. No problem. Ah, Blade. Ever the optimist, hmm? Sun will be up any minute now. They don't seem to care. Then let's make them care. It's good to be back in the fight. Yes, we do not feel safe in Central Park again. Yes, I'm a fan of potential their picnics and ball games for today. I'm sure they're more worried about surviving. As they should be. Up these jumps. You don't have to show off for me, Blade. herself could not best me. What makes you think you will fare any better?
some for the rest of us. This must pain you, Blade, to see your turf overrun like this. All that. That seems like you're trying to piss me off. Am I that transparent? In honesty, I heard you fight harder when you're angry. I'm fond of that tactic myself, Doctor. As you can see, he doesn't always buy it. Or maybe I only play along when I feel like it. Not out of this yet. Without sunlight to fall back on, my job is about to get a lot harder. You seem to have plenty of other tools, or toys, at your disposal. It sure motivated you. Fair point. They do not fear the sun. I'll give them something to fear. No. 
Allow me. So, the wait is finally over. How long has it been since you felt the sun on your face, Dracula? Century. The better part. But you already knew that blade. And thanks to your unlikely ally, Dr. Morbius, I will bask in the dawn for eternity. I cannot allow that. like old times. That was something. My children will finally know true freedom, the power to rule the day. You rule the night? Maybe in some brat hole in Transylvania, but New York is my town. That is all about to change. Just as it is, you'll have to the rising sun. Your fate is sealed.
futile effort. Salvation and salvation all began with you. A common refrain from vampires who haven't yet accepted their profound gift. Not everyone wants to feed on the innocent. I understood perfectly well. I just don't indulge in weakness. Not the only ones who should fear it. Take a good look at the sun, while you still can. Your confidence is inspiring, Blade. It must be my blood running through your veins that gives you such spirit. Take a lesson, Morbius. This is how you piss me off. Noted. I'm afraid you might not make it back from this one.
like these that give people like us a bad reputation. Not ready for me. The sun's warmth is invigorating. I'm sure my children feel it too. The cold grip of death is the only thing they'll find here. All my efforts in vain. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. Who's next? Behold the light's gift. Put it to good use. It's the end! Not 
good enough. Give the mother my regards in hell. seen that before. really the best you can do. Friends aren't doing so well. Just what I needed. What a waste. Cross my path again. You have earned this. Once again, will its servants fall? Lost children, you disappoint us, betray us, shed the blood of your own. No one hurts you more than family. Join us in the light. We won't ask again. Hmm. You won't. But not for the reason you think. You. To mass produce the serum, you diluted my sample. Yes, it protected you from the sunlight, but each use of your powers burned more of it away. You are, as they say, running on fumes. And when those expire, so do you. This isn't over. It is for now. Unless you'd care to stay for a walk in the park. Back to the sewer, where he belongs. 
Are you disappointed we didn't destroy him? Nah, he always comes back. But knowing he's got to live with that humiliation almost makes it worth knowing you. Congratulations, Hunter. Dracula's vampires suffered a major loss today. You deserve the credit, Doctor. You did good work today. The sunlight serum is so diluted it no longer poses a threat. The vampires have been cast back into the night where they belong. I don't think I can properly express my relief. Hunter, if you had not been there to lean on throughout all this, I do not know how I would have survived. This plague of vampires put stress on the whole team. We supported each other. You are too kind. I am glad I found such a welcoming family of heroes. And about that. Hunter, you should know that I will remain committed to the Midnight Sun's greater mission. You all helped me in my time of need. It is only fair that I return the favor. Your support is much appreciated. Marvelous. But before we move on, we must make one final decision regarding the Sunlight Serum. We? Oh, yes. I value your guidance. My prototype sample is no more, but I still possess my research notes. I could continue my experiments in the hopes of curing myself and maybe others, unless the risk of it falling into the wrong hands seems too great. You are too emotionally close to this problem right now. Store your notes in a safe place until you have time to reflect on the best path forward. I had not thought of that approach, but it does have merit. I do not know when the right time will come, but I look forward to that day. Thank you for your help, Hunter. So the vampires turned tail and ran into the night, where they can attack us from the shadows. This was a win, right? See, I told you Morbius would come through for us. And I kept telling myself over and over until I believed it. What do you think of Dracula hit by the Morbus? <laughs> Damn workshop and headlines. For an article I probably can't write. <laughs> Uh, it's just instinct. I think we're going to get along, Hunter. So I hear we kick Dracula's undead butt? Mm, that's freaking awesome. See? Blade is right. Nothing is better than the smell of burnt vampires. Can't believe I'm saying this aloud, but I think I figured out Dracula's master plan. Go on. There is a Lilith connection, but it's not direct. Dracula is acting like he knows the world is coming to an end. Didn't expect him to be an apocalypse prepper, but here we are. Think of every play he's backed so far. Some of his plans overlap, right? I had noticed that. That's because he's throwing everything at the wall to see what sticks. 
It doesn't matter what plans fail. As long as one succeeds, he wins. The good news is, we're foiling his plans faster than he's setting them in motion. If we keep nipping these buds, he'll have nothing left. Let's debrief on the latest. Looks like Dracula's plan went up in smoke. See what I did there? I do. Is the sunlight serum truly gone? Dracula still has a supply, but it's barely effective, as you experienced. For a master plan, this one was a real dud. Morbius shamed Dracula. The Lord of Vampires will rid himself of the serum. I think you're right. Never mess with the sun. You mean the suns? But um, shh. What? It's a. Mm, never mind. Central is tracking all mention of the sunlight serum or anything like it. Unless it finds something, I think we're done here. Anything else on your mind? Thanks, Carol. Catch you later. You were right, Blade. Morbius proved very useful today. You know, even I'm impressed that he stared down Dracula. So, did the two of you bury the hatchet? We're not exactly friends, but I appreciate his experience in the field. Sounds like someone is developing a grudging respect for the living vampire. Okay, sure. Just don't tell him I said that. You know, grudging respect is the first step to real friendship. It's time to drop this, Hunter. I don't think we've seen the last of Dracula, but I've got plenty of ass kicking saved up for next time. It seems we can finally put this ordeal with Morbius' serum behind us. Thankfully, we have more important things to focus on now. Hunter, thank you for not being overly harsh with Morbius. I only did what seemed to be right at the time. I would say you are wise beyond your years, but... You have more years than most of us put together. Maybe that's what makes you so discerning. And still no wrinkles. Indeed. I am just glad that Morbius found some peace of mind. I am familiar with that journey. It's not easy. Be proud of your part in that, Hunter. Manhattan really comes alive at night, as do I. What were you reading, Doctor? One of those political spy thrillers Captain Rogers is always heads down in? It's actually a medical journal on bi-specific antibodies and the treatment of hematologic malignancies. Just some light reading. I hope you learned something that could give us an edge in battle. We need every advantage. I feel the same. I found that when I keep my mind sharp, I make better use of my body. In truth, I've been in survival mode so long, I don't know where to find my own off switch.
Just know your limits. When you burn a candle to its ends, the light quickly fades. Your concern is noted, Hunter. I won't overdo it. Well, I should get back to my studies. Medical journals do not read themselves. But I'm working on that. On the bright side, Hunter, you didn't hurt me. Doctor Strange will shake this off. I'm sure he's seen worse. I had one job. Protect the Sanctum Santorum, and I failed. Okay, so that's two superhero strongholds, Lilith. Ooh, new coil. Let's get to work. Sometimes, I even impress myself. I'm See you, Hunter. Strange and tough. No pain, no gain.
Nico. Losing a front isn't the same as losing the whole fight. You think Lilith would chill a bit if we gave her some pie? No harm in trying, right? You never lose your focus when it comes to protecting the innocent. Thanks, Hunter. I'm really trying over here. War's not over, Hunter. It doesn't feel like we've been doing this song and dance for two months. Getting a little sore. Is there anything that would drive your mom really crazy? Like, maybe there's a fast food chain she loves that I could purchase and shudder? Poor Doctor Strange. I only know a shade of the loss he must feel. do if Doctor Strange starts acting all strange, but not like his typical brand of strange. She's revealing her true power and taking ground from us. Say, do you think Chewie and Charlie would be friends? We should let them meet. According to Ileana, that might break the internet. I don't know what that means. that sanctum. has kept the parchment of power safe so far, but he won't withstand a full-on assault from Lilith on his own. He will not be on his own much longer. The parchment will stay safe. Good. And while you're there, see if you can talk some sense into him. Surrender the page, please. Nice meet you, lady. 
surrender or be destroyed. Ah, they dug up Junior too. Child. Struck a nerve, huh? Then you're gonna love this. <sighs> Heard you were dead, Johnny. That was the idea. I'd ask what you were doing here, but I just pumped a few rounds in his chest. The legendary Johnny Blaze. I have heard much Hear of that? This is your fault. Play with Mama all you want. I've got people to save. Mama. Long story. We'll just have to hope Blaze can handle the escape on his own. She's summoning are going to make things a lot harder unless you destroy them too. Take out the big lady in a rock collection. Got it. And just because Lilith decided to talk through this one, don't feel the need to show it any mercy. You were too weak for this fight. Do the trick. Dips on the ugly one. Destroying those altars may be the fastest way to bring her down. Assuming we can get past that guardian. Not my first rock monster rodeo. Nothing to worry about.
done. won't be happy to see her favored ones fall so easily. You cannot resist, child. The prophecy will be fulfilled. Maybe so. <laughs> but not today. Let's hope not. Not so tough without that little pop gun of yours. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy this. Not as much as me. Somehow, you get uglier every time I see you. And you get smaller. Grunt. Stop fussing over. After them!
Sure of that. <sighs> Small man talks a big game. Feel my call. for the rest of us. the limit. Permanently, if possible. You heard the lady. Now for something.
interest. Lilith has found the ideal servant in this one. His soul was black long before she got to it. Yeah, when it comes to pieces of trash, old Sabretooth here is one in a million. You keep talking, but I'm still here. Kindly on this one. He's down, but not out yet. I will not fall for the same ruse twice. Thought as much. You're welcome. Enough of this. Easy, kid. These were his people. We did what we could, Blaze. That's what folks with bloody hands always say. If we do not stop the Midnight Sun, the entire world will get far bloodier. Not my problem anymore. Forget the damn prophecy. I know I sure as hell am. Aren't you gonna follow him? Nah, he may not have been listening. But I am. Keep talking, kid. What happened at that carnival was a tragedy. One that could have been avoided. If you did not keep so many secrets... Oh, well, what is this, a duet? Since when did you two get so chummy? Don't change the subject. The spirits of vengeance have always been the secret guardians of the parchment of power. Guardians? <laughs> Blaze is probably using the page as toilet paper right now. I met the guy. You're giving him too much credit. We did what we had to do. That secret kept the page out of our enemy's hands for centuries. At what cost? You cannot win this war with secrets. Magic is right. If we're going to stop Lilith from causing any more massacres, we need to come clean with each other, now. There is nothing else, Captain. I wish I could believe you. So do I. Then I don't see a point in continuing this conversation. I can see you are still upset, Ileana. Of course I'm still upset. Caretaker continuously stonewalls us and expects all of us to just go along and make nice. 
but it never works out that way. You would think she would have learned by now, but I guess not. She should trust us more. I am sure caretaker's intentions came from a good place. Good intentions mean nothing when the outcome causes harm. She probably does not see it that way. I don't care how she sees it. Neither caretaker nor Tony told us she gave the page to Blaze for safekeeping. They should know he's one of the least safe people on the planet. No matter what Robbie says. Now all that stands between this realm and Cathan is that overrated stuntman. <sighs> Entrusting it to him was a mistake. Consider Caretaker and Stark know something we do not about Blaze. Oh, yeah? Like what? The Parchment of Power is known to have corrupting effects on its keeper. It twists his or her soul. And, well... Okay, I get it. Blaze is already a bit twisted, so the parchment cannot twist him that much further. Exactly. It probably will not affect him as much as it would one of us. Blaze has the parchment, and I cannot change that. Let's just hope he can hold on to it. Feeling good today, girl? You know, it's kind of rude to walk around in here and not give me so much as a hello. I assumed you were asleep. Uh, I don't sleep much. But that doesn't stop me from enjoying the company of a comfortable bed when I spot one. After that fight at the Quentin Carnival, I suppose we all could use a lengthy rest. I can't get too comfortable. Not so long as Sabretooth's still out there. He is your quarry, I take it? I guess you could say that. We have a history. None of it nice. Though he's definitely changed. His nasty side got... well, nastier. From what I have seen, he should not be much trouble for you. I've been tracking and fighting him for decades. If he was easy to handle, trust me, I would have put him away for good ages ago. This last time, though, he's gotten even more deadly. Then I hope you can rise to the challenge. Does not look like you are planning to stay long. Some find our Abbey to be a bit unnerving. Oh, this place is nothing. You'd be surprised at some of the places I've rested my boots. You talk like that, now you have to tell me some stories. Oh, okay. Let's see. I've been all over the planet. And a few other planets besides. Other... planets? Yeah. We're not alone in the universe, you know. There's the Kree, there's Skrulls, there's the Brood. Most aliens you're better off avoiding, but there's a few good ones out there. I'll tell you, though. After a while... All you really care about is a nice, soft bed. I see the way you're looking at me. Who's this mysterious guy hanging out in my place all of a sudden? Perhaps. Tell you what, I've got a little break between people trying to kill me, so let's have a little chat. 
What do you know about this Johnny Blaze? He's a flaming jackass. He used to be known as the Spirit of Vengeance. Until even his attitude got too bad for that job. Seems like he's really committed to the carny life now. Must be the funnel cakes and fried candy bars. Do you think a man like that is up to the challenge before him? Guarding the parchment of power is not a task taken lightly. Yeah, we face some vile customers together. He may not have the flaming skull thing anymore, but he's got guts where it counts. How long have you known Sabretooth? Seems like you two have a history. His real name's Victor Creed, and you're right. We've got bad blood going back a long time. Believe it or not, we used to be teammates and pals. Kinda. They say familiarity breeds contempt. Yeah, well, they get things dead on sometimes. Didn't take me long to notice he wasn't exactly playing with a full deck. Creed and I have long since chosen to follow different paths. Yet somehow, we keep ending up at the same friggin' destination. You seem like a nomad, but surely you have a place you call home. I guess you could say Xavier's place has been the closest thing to a real home I've ever had. Who? Oh, Professor Charles Xavier. He's got a swanky place outside of New York City. A, a private school. Lots of space and plenty of interesting folk. It's a lot like your Abbey here. Except Charles has a baseball field. Baseball? Yeah. If you got interest, I'd be happy to explain all the rules sometime. You seem to know everyone. I assume you know the Midnight Suns as well. I know some of these kids. Didn't know they got themselves a band name. Who do you know? Magic, for instance. She's the kid sister of a buddy of mine. Pyotr Rasputin. I call him Colossus. Interesting. You and she have similar attitudes. Maybe because we have similar backgrounds. I grew up in Canada, surrounded by wolves. And she grew up in Limbo, surrounded by demons. Which place is worse, Canada or Limbo? Oh, Limbo. They don't have hockey. I have taken up enough of your time. I should go. It's been a pleasure. If you have more questions, you know where to find me. Sir, you there? I'm in the library. It's super important you meet me here ASAP. Blaze. They could take that show anywhere? Why is he still on his What are you reading, Nico? A limited edition print of the Book of Thoth. The Book of Thoth? Where did you find a book of such rarity? I didn't. Someone just left it out. Weird, too, because I was looking for a book on chaos magic so I could understand Wanda's grimoire a little better. I didn't think I was going to find any, since Caretaker probably hid or burned every single text on the topic. But, poof, here this was, waiting for me. It has been my experience that what we seek usually has a way of finding us first. Yeah, maybe, but it's not like books just pull themselves off shelves and onto tables. Well, not in this castle, at least. Someone left this out. I wonder who. Sometimes I think this library is haunted by a friendly librarian ghost. Find anything helpful in it? I did. There's a historical account of an ancient Egyptian pharaoh who was struck by a dark madness after reading a page from an old book called... <clears throat> the Scrolls of Cathod. Wait, 
That is another name for the... Darkhold, I know. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if this was the first case of corruption in recorded history. Was this Pharaoh's corruption ever purified? Hold up, I haven't gotten to that part of the story. So the legend goes that nothing could cure the Pharaoh until this traveling light worker came along, laid his hands upon the Pharaoh, and recited an incantation. The Pharaoh came back to his senses and returned to his good old classical Egyptian disbody self. Sounds like the best possible outcome was reached for everyone involved. Well, not for everyone. So, like, when the light worker recited the incantation, he absorbed all the pharaoh's corruption into his own body and, uh, died. He did not survive? No. But the lines of the incantation he used are scattered throughout this book. I'm gonna have magic help me transcribe them and see if we can use them to cure Wanda. Let me get this straight. You and Magic plan on piecing together a 100,000-year-old incantation that worked once and killed the person who said it? Yes? It is unlikely that the historical account of the incantation is accurate. Well, I've, I've got to try something. It's not like anyone else has any other bright ideas. Well, I'm going to find Magic, see if we can make a dent in this transcription. I'll give you a shout when we do. Until then, not a word about this to anyone. Hmm? I saw a listing for a four-story block on the Upper West Side. Maybe your new sanctum? Tony, I can't... Think about that now. The Sanctum wasn't just a home. It was a part of me. I know, I know. I just thought it might cheer you up. Hey, I heard about this crazy video online. A monkey riding a cat like it's a horse. <laughs> you want to take a look? No. I think you'd love it. Maybe they were enchanted. I said no, Tony. Don't you realize what I'm going through? My whole world has quite literally blown up. I just want to cheer you up, that's all. Hey, you want to curse me? No, 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 just kidding. Hey, don't, don't, don't curse me. The Ancient One... They're accusing me of keeping secrets, as if that's the biggest problem we have right now. I don't know, maybe the demonic green sky over New York was too subtle for them to notice? I think they noticed. Well, it wasn't intentional. We were supposed to win in New York. We weren't supposed to lose the Sanctum, or Avengers Tower. Or Banner. I mean, call me crazy, but would sitting everyone down and telling them all about Blaze and the parchment really have made a difference? I understand why you did it. The fewer people who know about the parchment, the better. That's exactly right. When everyone operates on a need-to-know basis, they can focus. Is that how you are able to focus? Well, no, I need to know everything. Things are spiraling out of control, and right now, I just need to figure out what to do about this prophecy. You really think you can stop the Darkhold's prophecy by working in here? Well, I'm kind of known for making the impossible possible. Give me a couple hours and a decent lunch, maybe an Italian hoagie, and I can fix anything. Trust me. If you want to stop the prophecy over lunch, I think you will need a bigger lunch. Ah, uh, well, I need to be careful not to eat too much, especially carbs. I just blow up and, uh, blow up. Huh. Please excuse me. I need to jot down some ideas. Are you making prophecies of your own? Shoo, go, go. Genie's at work. <sighs> Gotta get a sign. What is it like to have a tan? Does it hurt?
What drove you to study medicine, Doctor? I know what it's like to feel suffocated by a disease. I wanted to help others avoid my fate. I admire your compassion. To be fair, it wasn't entirely selfless. I needed to learn biology to cure myself. I believe you are a good man. Thank you for saying so. But I was not always the man you know. You are haunted by your past, but your past does not define you. I was full of selfish ambition. I used my resources to further my own goals over the needs of others. Would you do things differently if you had the chance? Of course. Then you have grown into a better person. I see. Then may I never stop growing. You have outdone yourself, Hunter! Morning, Blaze. Want to do some spirit of vengeance training in the yard? <sighs> oh, man. I sound so lame. Oof, freaking hopeless. From what I understand about Blaze, he is not one for brotherhood. Oh, hey. <laughs> I didn't know I had an audience for my little self pep talk. Just trying to hype myself up. If we're gonna be working with Blaze, and he starts hanging out at the Abbey, and we're driving across the desert together killing demons, I need to be cool. I mean, he's the original spirit of vengeance, the real ghost rider. And I'm just Robbie Reyes from East LA. How the hell am I supposed to live up to that? Have you asked the spirit of vengeance that resides in you for advice? You mean my roommate Sparky? Of course I have. He said I'm just as legit as Blaze, maybe even more legit. But I think Sparky may be a little biased. He has a rivalry with Blaze's Ghost Rider, some kind of demonic competition thing. I see. Look at me. I'm standing here in the middle of this ancient abbey, surrounded by some of Earth's greatest heroes. And I still don't really feel like I belong. It's not like I got that special something you've got. I mean, look at you. You're not intimidated by anyone. How do you own that swagger? I follow my moral compass and do what I believe is right, no matter what others say. What if you, you know, don't have a moral compass? Or your moral compass is a demon that lives in your head and isn't just a talking cricket? Then I suggest developing one of your own. Crickets are untrustworthy. Well, thanks for the heart-to-heart, -heart, or demon-to-demon, <laughs> or 
Or whatever. Y you've given me and Sparky a lot to digest. See you around, Hunter. My powers don't feel like they're enough. Good thing I've got brains. Who is a good girl? How is the search for Blaze going? Nowhere. The dude has totally gone off-grid. Oh, I've scoured every rat hole on the planet a guy like that would be seen in. Monster truck shows, stunt cycling extravaganzas, motocross events, but Blaze is totally MIA. I'm telling you, Hunter, if I have to spend one more hour scanning digital maps for that hot Cheeto, even my super site is gonna go all squiggly. Perhaps there is a silver lining in his inability to be found. There is? Because I'd sure love to hear it. But think about it. If the great Captain Marvel cannot locate him, then Lilith does not stand a chance in hell of finding him either. Hmm. Good point. But I'd still like to find him. If not for securing the parchment and preventing your mother's gothy Armageddon, then just for the principle of it. I don't like to lose. Well, I'd love to continue with the chit-chatting, but I've got to get back to the most boring manhunt in history. Do let me know when you find him. Don't worry. I'll be so freaking relieved and excited the whole Abbey will know. Come on, Blaze. Come out, come out wherever you are. You can't hide forever under whatever backwater rock you've crawled under. Not for me. You were born for the end of times, Hunter. Hey. This isn't working. The map table? Should I get Tony? No, I mean Midnight Suns, Avengers, and now X-Men. The Abbey. None of it's working. And I have no one to blame but myself. Self-pity? That is not you. No self-pity. It's fact. Three teams under the same roof, all fighting for different reasons. Nothing to bring us together. It's not too late to change that. If Agatha were here, she'd tell me... No, it doesn't matter. She isn't here. If she were here, what do you think she would tell you to do? To stop being so stubborn. That bringing everyone together is long overdue. And that she loves you. Yes. So? What now? I'm calling a meeting. When? Tonight. I'll spread the word. Find me after your mission. We can go there together. All right. More in you. Parker, you're not gonna believe this. Found a pivotal piece of intel that could blow the doors off Dracula's dirty dealings. Looking for a fight? Who wants to fight? Last year, a guy broke into the Central Park Zoo and tried to feed on the animals. I just got the police transcript of his interrogation. He admits to being a vampire and talks about Dracula's underwater base at the bottom of the ocean. Ah, uh, I don't know how to break this to you, but... I helped cover that story for the Bugle. The guy wasn't a vampire. He swallowed a pound of MGH. MGH? Mutant growth hormone. Gives you temporary powers, but turns your brain into a mosh pit? Yeah, he probably didn't know what he was saying. Incredible. It is? Yeah. I had no idea the powers that be organized such an obvious cover-up. Thanks, Parker. Gonna keep digging. Where there's vamp smoke, there's vamp fire. <laughs> yeah, get it? Yeah, jokes are kind of my... Oh, happy to help. 
desert sun is so hot. Good thing my symbiote doesn't sunburn. All this excitement has really gotten me thinking about forming a team of my own. Spider-Man and his astonishing pals. His stupendous companions. I'm circling it, I know. Ah, uh, the desert air is getting to me. Need a rub lotion on my other. Hey, don't give me that look. Thanks for welcoming me into the fold, Hunter. Most people see the monster and run for the hills. Few people take the time to get to know the man underneath. No problem, Eddie. I've been meaning to ask, where did you come up with the name Venom? It sounds dangerous, and I like that. But I can't take the credit. Yeah, my symbiote came up with the name. Did your symbiote also design your awesome suit? My symbiote is the suit, so... yeah, I guess? That's kind of like asking, did you design your face? But you could look like anything. You could be the plaid spider, or fight crime in a purple tuxedo. Do not give my other any ideas. It must be nice to have someone to talk to when you are alone. Yeah, but it's also distracting having someone chew your ear off while you're getting punched in the face. But having a voice in your head probably comes in handy at boring dinner parties. What, you think I get invited to dinner parties? Many time dinner is served, I consider it a party. I like the way you think, Hunter. It doesn't like to show it, but even the symbiote had fun. I know it's pretty basic, but any time food is involved, I'm in. It's good to take a break from knocking heads. Hello, my sweet girl. Me up? I started to relax as I was thinking about my to-do list. It's not much. But I have managed to locate a few details. So, how's the whole saving the world thing going? Big Tony's Fortune Mystery, we never close. Sometimes, I even impress myself. I'm happy to help, Hunter.
Hydra's mystics are trying to open one of those rifts. It probably goes without saying, but we can't have that sense of combinations from the other side. Coming back to me. Interesting tactic. That's one mystic out. We've knocked another mystic out of the ritual. Almost there. They won't stand up. It's a goodbye. suffering. Still they persist. Let's proceed then. Battle requires. Just what I need. The light is on our side. I owe you a cola. Welcome assistance. That was really something.
mother of demons is forced to rely upon hired hands occasionally. Let's give it a go. Endless search for wealth and power with just a By her command. They really want to get on my bad side. Just running some kind of experiment on your face. I think he botched it. Now for something real special. No mercy for the servants of Lilith. Temporary. Weak, even for Hydra. time. Centuries of time. I hope you are prepared. You're mine. An Not enough.
some for the rest of us. Not looking good for you. Mother protects us. Done right, you gotta do it yourself. The power of the light. You have earned this. You are lucky to still be breathing. Trick. Back into the fray. Centuries ago. Bad luck for you, bud. You pick the wrong one, bud. After me, the light will heal you. Let 
us see if they have an answer for this. Not much has changed among the world's fanatics. Your fate is sealed. Get me out of here! Hydra's standards have fallen a great deal. Had your chance to escape. Not looking good here. There was a time when Lilith had the highest of standards for her Will not last much longer at this rate. told me to mention your mother. Apparently, she's promiscuous. We've done it. Hey, kiddo. Almost time for the meeting. I'm ready. All right. It's not far from here. Hello, my dear. What are you doing here? Whenever Sarah was this nervous, I used to keep close. A look, a smile, a touch on the shoulder. It always helped. I can't do that now, of course, but death can't stop me from watching over her. Why would she be nervous? I don't know. I think I'll stay and find out. I dislike this. Why? You don't know what it's about. I dislike anything mandatory. Are we about to light a bonfire? Maybe some light chanting? That is not something we do. Bummer. I was hoping I could roast some marshmallows. Hunter, um, is this meeting about the blood stains in the library? Because I told Blade I would clean that up. There are blood stains in the library? No. Not anymore. <laughs> I'm sure this must be about something else. I thought there'd be a great spot for something bad to happen. 
What makes you say that? Ominous meeting called together last minute in the middle of the night? That doesn't seem weird to you? I suppose you are right. If I get voted off the Abbey, it was nice knowing you. Good thing you're fireproof. Uh, what? Big news, whatever it is. Well, how can you tell? I've known Sarah long enough. After tonight, everything changes. Do you know how long this will take? I do not. Why? Robbie and I had plans. It's fine. We'll figure it out. Did she say what it's about? Uh, just that we all had to be here. I'm always wary of impromptu team meetings. Why? It's usually when people get fired. You have been fired? Well, me? No. But I've had to call those meetings, and they suck. Short notice for a meeting. What do you think it is about? From the set of her jaw, some kind of reprimand. An auspicious night. Don't you think, Mr. Rogers? Stop calling me that. I can't live up to that name. She didn't call this meeting lightly. Whatever this is, it's important. How do you know? Because I've called meetings like this before. Such a charming location for whatever is about to happen. What, no predictions? As I have mentioned on many occasions, often in your presence, I can no longer peer along the shaft of time's arrow, nor alter its arc. But if you could, what would you suggest I do? Waste my considerable talents on a glorified pep talk? I should think not. So you do know what she will say? I have my suspicions. What a waste of my evening. You know what this is about? No, but it will be a waste, I am certain. Any idea what this is about? Not really. I think she's gonna yell at somebody. Why do you say that? Hmm, just a feeling. Nobody knows what this is about. Did she say something to you? Not really. Huh. Whatever it is, it can't be good. Oh. This is odd, huh? The meeting? No, meeting out here. Why not the common room? Something's up. Feeling good today, girl? Everyone's here. I should begin. You sound like you're hesitating. That's because I am. I could use a moment to collect my thoughts. What did you always tell me? Hesitation is a gift delivered to your enemy. It is absolute cruelty to use my own words against me. Especially when you're right. Time to tear off the bandage. Thank you all for coming. Truthfully, I wasn't sure everyone would. And that's why we're meeting. The Hunter and I are working to stop Lilith and her master, Cathan. I'm not certain about the rest of you. Uh, we're in this to the end. Are you? I see petty rivals more concerned with scoring points off one another than stopping the mother of demons. Well, there, if anyone isn't pulling their weight, it's the Midnight Suns. And if anyone's doing their own thing, it's the Avengers. And the ringleaders prove my point. But I speak only for myself. So, I ask the hunter... Who is responsible for the dysfunctional state in which we find ourselves? Every one of us bears responsibility for our failure. Hey, I just got here. Except for Logan. I'm sorry. I'll try to do better. And Parker. He is fine. 
Oh, okay. But the rest of us spend our time at odds. We have accomplished next to nothing since my return. Unless you count losing ground to my mother. She will destroy everything you know, pollute all you love. In this, she and her followers are unified. To serve Lilith is to serve Cathan. If you don't pull the same direction, if you'd rather fight each other, we've already lost. Look, the Midnight Suns are unproven. I will grant that they have potential, but we can't trust an apocalyptic threat to the Halloween teens. Um, we're all in our 20s. Could have fooled me. See? The Avengers underestimate their allies. You think they'll do otherwise for the Mother of Demons? If they're in charge, we lose. You're both right. The only one who can lead us to victory is the Hunter. Huh. That's our Steve. What do you say, Hunter? Are you willing to lead us against your own mother? <laughs> only if everyone wants me to do it. I can only speak for myself, but you already convinced me. Just like that? It's a heavy responsibility. I wanted to hear you say you're willing to bear it. We're your team, Hunter. Tell us how you plan to lead us. This is all so new to me. I will rely on every one of you. Help me do the best I can. I will make mistakes. We all will. But the team is here to hold us steady, no matter if we stumble. Highly inspirational, boss, but let's get down to vibranium tax. We're all equal here, and it's obvious my team is first among equals. Look, there's no question these kids have heart. We can't do any of this without them. But this isn't our first apocalypse, and experience beats heart any day of the week. Boss, I need to know where we stand on this. I can guarantee nothing for the Avengers but the toughest battle they have ever encountered. We try not to rank them. It's more of an above a certain threshold kind of thing. And I guarantee a life above the threshold until Lilith is back in hell. I can get behind that, right, Tony? Sure. We are all equals here. There is no first among us. We do this as one, or not at all. Um, not to interrupt this feel-good moment, but what about us? It's no secret we were sidelined when Tony and the others showed up. Caretaker built our team to face this threat, but we've been pushed aside. We... I need to know that ends here. I would never doubt the capabilities of the Midnight Suns. You know that, do you not? Of course. And we aren't asking for special treatment, just... A seat at the table? Yeah, exactly. Of course you will have that. Everyone will. You have my guarantee. That's enough for tonight. I want all of you to reflect on what we said. If you'll excuse me, I need a moment with the Hunter. So, that's it. We did what we could. Let's hope it works. I still do not see the point of all this. They're finally thinking of something other than themselves. That was the point. I had no idea this was coming. Kiddo, you have no poker face. For the others to consider you as a leader, your reaction needed to be genuine. Was Steve in on this? No, but he respects you, and I had a feeling he'd speak his mind. If he hadn't suggested you take the reins, it would have been me. That is all I needed. Tonight, we pulled the plunger and set the ball rolling. The rest is gravity and the occasional nudge. Is that a pinball reference? 
In the 70s, Agatha insisted I pick up a hobby. I won a few tournaments. Why do I know about pinball? Perhaps it's the universe telling you to challenge me when this is all done? Think I could take you? No, you drain faster than bathwater. I had not predicted this. Really? No, Sarah spoke with me earlier. We have a long history of mutual advisement. What advice did you provide? About time. Which was a mistake. She thought I'd presented her with a temporal riddle, as I do on occasion. I could have brought popcorn. For the team? No, to watch you turn the Abbey upside down and shake it like tambourines. You were more entertaining than anything I could have done tonight. Next time, I'll bring popcorn. Not what I expected. Is that good or bad? Right now? Feels good to me. Every meeting should be like this one. Unpleasant? I don't know how to feel about this. I'm happy for you, but I hope it isn't weird when we hang out. Why would it be weird? Huh. Good point. All right. Let's not make it weird. I don't know if I agree with everything you said. Still, I'm glad you said it. What do you mean? This is the first time I've felt like I'm really part of a team. Not just Peter tagging along. I get it, we're in this together, but it's good to know that's how you see it. I get what Steve sees in you. Is that a compliment or an insult? Now, with him, depends on the week. But for you, it's all compliment, boss. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it, now you're the actual boss. And I called it, way before Steve did. <laughs> Don't know about you guys, but that fired me up. You get excited when people yell at you? No, I mean the hunter taking charge. I'm with Robbie. I thought you wanted to be in charge. I wanted anyone in charge. Organizations and dogs abhor a vacuum. Not Charlie. She gutted one, then rolled around in the dust. <laughs> I've never seen Blade so annoyed. Yeah. I guess I can follow you. For now. What are you saying exactly? Kid, don't lose my respect. It's the part of me that won't grow back. Well, slap my ass and call me Deadpool. You're the boss now. I cannot say I was expecting this. There's a time and place for modesty, and it ain't now. If you say so. Better you than me. I wouldn't know leadership if it walked up and kicked me in my fun bags. What exactly are your fun bags? It's where I store my kazoos and party poppers, except for the expensive ones. I tuck those behind my... Never mind. Yeah, I probably shouldn't tell you where to find my secret fun hole. Now that you're in charge, I was wondering if you'd allow me to bring a few cadavers into the Abbey? Uh, for medical research, of course. Uh, well, you would have to talk to Magic about bringing those through the portal. Ah, she already told me no. Well, I assumed that's what she meant when she shook her head and laughed while walking away. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> those experiments can wait. This is a little awkward. It does not have to be. Even if I am team leader, we can still be friends. Oh, no, I meant this whole time I assumed you were already in charge. Now I don't know how to treat you. You do not need to treat me any differently. As you wish, your highness. 
You do not have to call me that. You know that, right? Yeah, I know. Your Excellency. You certainly know how to speak your mind. You agreed with me. <laughs> of course not. But you stepped up, you laid it out, and now you're ready to walk straight into hell. Figure I'll be there when you do. Really? Yeah, you're the obvious target. So I'll slip past why they tear you limb from limb. Don't worry, we'll build you a bigger mausoleum. <laughs> Always the strategist. Still working out the kinks, but we'll get there. Don't know why I didn't see it. You're perfect for this. You did not see me as a leader? It never crossed my mind. Most leaders I've encountered in life have a sort of professional ambition, for better or worse. Steve doesn't, but he's also called Captain America. The name alone carries rank and authority. So if I went by Private Hunter... Oh no, don't call yourself that. And I'm not explaining why. I didn't come here planning to put you on the spot, but that's how it turned out. You really think I can do this? I know you can do this. And you have a great team ready for you to lead them. So let's get started. I'm so proud of her. And you, of course. Don't pout. I should have told you about Agatha. Stop. We've known each other too long for this. What? Half a century? <laughs> if you round down. And I should have been there for you. Well, you're here now. Agatha would have loved what you did. <laughs> Can you picture her if I hadn't? It could kill a whole city. I spent a millennia facing the greatest horrors known to the world, and the only thing I truly feared was disappointing her. Thanks for spotting me, Hunter. I needed to burn off some steam after that last mission. I'm surprised you have any steam to burn. My symbiote boosts my metabolism. Helps us bounce back quickly. The problem is you constantly need to eat. I'm constantly eating, but what's the problem? If you rely on the symbiote, why push your physical body to its limits? I often push myself past the point of exhaustion because I have to be able to compete. Most of the heroes in this house were either born with fantastic abilities or handed them after they were dipped in radioactive alien slime. Eddie, you are literally covered in alien goo that allows you to shatter bricks with your fist. Yeah, sure, that didn't come out right. The symbiote gives me fantastic abilities, but I can't rely on it for everything. I maintain peak conditioning, in case my other gets compromised. Did your parents instill you with this powerful work ethic? Guess you could say that. My mother died in childbirth, and my father blamed me for it. I spent most of my childhood trying to measure up to that monster's unattainable standards. I'm sure that was difficult. I know what it is like to have a parent who is a literal demon. Yeah, well, doesn't make the family photo albums easier to look through. But thanks, Hunter. Now you know why I push myself so hard. 
I need to be strong enough to protect all the innocent people out there who aren't strong enough to protect themselves. I cannot argue with that, Eddie. Hey, can I ask a favor? Oh, thanks, Hunter. It's not much, but I have managed to locate a few details. Uh, give me a sec. Okay. Sometimes, I even impress myself. If this thing behind me turns into a giant gateway to ancient Egypt, I'm here if you need me. One can get lost in thought staring at such a force of nature. Storms come and go. Ships wrecked and men lost, but the ocean persists. Something on your mind, Captain. What do you make of our chances to get out of this mess in one piece? The only thing under our control is our efforts. Knowing our team, we will give it all we have got. We will, especially with how far you've come. I want you to know I'm proud of you, Hunter. You've become a leader I would gladly follow into the heat of battle, no matter how high the flames. You can congratulate me on my leadership skills after all this is over. If we are still standing. Based on what I've seen so far, my gut tells me we will be. You've got to appreciate the irony. The kid of the mother of demons is the one that will lead us to victory. Fascinating. <laughs> 